class for the 2010 UK Strongest Man competition. It's a big field and a class one too. On the Welcome to Belfast for the UK Strongest Man 2010. We've got 16 of the toughest men in the country battling it out over 13 gruelling events to see who will be crowned the champion. Unfortunately, last year's winner Jimmy Marcou is injured, but we do have some fantastic competitors. It's a beautiful day here in Belfast, but we're going to head inside to the Odyssey Pavilion for the first two events. We can see the athletes warming up and getting ready for their first event. I'm here with legendary strongman, twice world's strongest man, and head referee for this competition, Jeff Cates. Jeff, how's this competition going to work? Well, it's going to be quite simple. We've got an A pool and a B pool. So there's eight competitors in each pool. And after the first pool goes through, we're going to drop two athletes from there. The second pool, another two athletes from there. So that's four athletes dropped out after the, today's four events. But the first event is the log lift. And in April, we've got the legendary, not only me, we've got legendary Glenn Ross here. Well, I was going to say, you know, who do you favour or who's your money yeah. on today? And Glenn's, uh, he, I've got my money on him, but I shouldn't really say that as chief referee, but it's, it's possibly Glenn's last event or last uh, lift in, uh, in, in terms of strongman. So I'm going to put my money on him. I think he'll give 110%. I'm sure he will. Well, Glenn's in Group A. Let's look at some of the other athletes in Group A. Rolf Frampton, Titchfield, six foot one, 25 stone. Well, he was fourth in 2008. We've seen him before, very experienced, nicknamed the Stone Man. He's been training for six years. He's a gym owner. He's very fast. He's very strong and very big. Any competition I go into, I don't go to make numbers. I've come this year to win. My best placing was two years ago when I came fourth. I was unfortunate to go out last year due to an injury on the first day. And I promised that I'll come back and I'm happy here to win. Paul Carter, Grayson King, six foot four, twenty-nine stone. Very confident and very powerful. He's Britain's most powerful man last year. He won that competition, and uh, formerly known as Cuddles. So I leave that to your imagination. You know, I just want to not worry about the event. Just go in now and do my best. Top three, hopefully. Just got to go and you know, uh, I know hundred percent on every event. Owen Lewis, South Wales, Pontycamer, 5 foot 9, 17 stone. Well, he's light, really, by comparison with the rest. He's a security guard, London's strongest man in 2008. That was the competition. He came second there, and he'll find it tough here. If I can make the second day, I'd be very happy with that. I'm just going to take uh, each event as it comes, just do my best. Dolphin Kelly, Bally Clare, Northern Ireland, 6 foot. 19 stone. A joiner by trade, four times All England Highland Games champion. He was second in the Irish Strongest Man competition earlier on this year. He'll find it tough too. I like the pressing events. I think this year it's a lot more open than any other year. So there'll be a lot of people in, in for the title. Stevie Cherry, Kirkcaldy, Fife, Scotland, 6 foot 1, 22 stone. He's an education facilities officer. He was second in Scotland's strongest man this year. And this competition will be his most difficult, that's for sure. I feel obviously nervous. It's my first big show. I feel as though I've upped a level. The guys are better, the equipment's heavier. So a little bit nervous, but just hope to do my best. I think everybody could be a threat. You have to respect everybody in this game, I think. My name's Dean Slater, I'm from Birmingham, I'm six foot tall and I weigh 24 stone. He's a chef in the children's nursery, he's England's strongest man this year and he's the British beer throwing champion too. What more? You know what you can do and obviously 
you want to try and do a little bit better each time. So whether you get first or, you, or if you finish eighth, if you've done your best and you've achieved something in that competition that you haven't done before, then you know you feel satisfied from that. Ben Novitski, Glasgow, Scotland, six foot, 22 stone. He was second in Scotland's strongest man. He's a chemical engineering student. He's the youngest person on record to have lifted the Dinny Stones. That is quite something. Being at university as well can be, a, you know, it's with classes or, or having to do labs, it's a bit hard. I mean, a lot of people make the excuse that they've not got time to train or, or, or whatever because they're too busy studying, but if you, want a, you know, if you want to be successful, you make time. It's just, it's just as simple as that. Who's the daddy? Yeah. My name's Glenn Ross, the daddy from Bangor, Cody Dang, and I am. <laughs> My name's Glenn Ross, the daddy from Bangor and County Down, and I'm six foot and 29 stone. Four times UK's strongest man looking to regain the title he lost to Jimmy Marku last year. He's been training for 23 years, and he's a former Europe's strongest man. That was in 2004. Very experienced. Uh, this year, I can honestly say, uh, with the six and a half stone that I've shedded over a two year period, I have no weak events anymore. Like anybody, to be a real champion, you've got to regain your title back and I've done it over the years, and I intend every year to do it this year too. When I was a little boy, Christmas time, it was all about, for me, strong man on Christmas day with Jeff Capes. Are you still a stud? Can you lift this up? Come on. I don't know, I've obviously retired a long time ago, but uh, the, if the money's right, there's a possibility, of course. Do you reckon you could pick that up now? No, I don't think I so. I tried earlier, I've got it to about here, and I messed up my yeah, top. Well, but... it's a so one, what have we got here? It's a 140, uh, 140 kilo log, well, it was actually cylindrical, and what they've got to do to, today, they've got to pick it up with both hands, yep. pick it up to the chest, okay, they've got to press it to lock out, down to the chest, lock out again as many times as they possibly can within 90 seconds. Are they allowed to use their legs to cheat yes, up? Yes, as long as they lock out, they can use the legs and everything. There's a little catch on this. If they get tired, they can put it down, but they can't put it down and release it with both hands. I have to have it in their hands. If they release it with both hands, the time is stopped, and it's how many accrued lifts previously. Well, that's a, a very good first event. Yeah, We're going to go over event. to... Good tester. I believe this is your ex-coach we're going to go over to next. Who's yeah, that? Stuart Story. Stuart Story, over to you. Well, thanks, lads. There's the time limit. That's the weight of the log and the rules. The arms must lock out, and you must stay in contact with the log throughout. So you can go down to the ground. You can rest just a while, but you must not take both hands off it. Well, let's have a look. They're paired up, and we've got Glenn Ross and Dean Slater. Glenn here, the champion from last year. Uh, 29 stone, and the log actually weighs, we reckon, the equivalent of about 22 stone, so he's almost at body weight, and he's against Dean Slater. Um, the number of repetitions that they can press above their head. Well, Jeff in the background, you can hear offering the, the start, and there's a, well, that's a very good push, one. Well, Glenn Ross is absolutely powering that up now at the moment, isn't he? Oh, that's a wonderful piece of pressing. That's a very difficult, brings the head forward all the time. Superb press. Now he takes a break. Mustn't take both hands off it. If he does, then it will count against him. Just looking at the... Now, this is the time at which they've got to take a break. They can't, they've got 90 seconds in him. But look at the clock counting down. It's five to four. Glenn Ross just one ahead at the moment. This is a very good performance uh, by Dean Slater. It really is. He's 36, nicknamed Daddy Daycare. He's a chef, incidentally, in a children's nursery. How about that? And he's going again. Now, Dean looking for this push. That's another one. That's five all. Well done, Dean. Now then, Glenn. Glenn will have rested. Now he hasn't taken his hands off. Comes again. Prepares again. Now then, what... Can he get any more out of this? Now then. Well, that's the sixth. That's seven. He's locked out. Those arms must lock, and I think that's going to be it. I think it is. Yes, it is. He's finished. He's taken both hands off. Now then, Dean Slater. What can you do? Five you've got at the moment. Well, Glenn just looks down. Can you do any more? Oh, hands are off. He's finished. He's finished. It's 7-5.
So, first blood then to last year's runner-up, Glenn Ross, and the crowd appreciating a fine performance. Glenn, it's tough going first, but you knocked out seven repetitions. Is that the sort of number you were looking for? Yeah, yeah. It's, I mean, this is 13 of the ultimate events you're ever going to do in any strongman contest. And the first event is about being smart. And I hope I've done enough today to come first or second. I'd be comfortable. That's my target. Always a tough opponent, though. But Jonathan Kelly on the left here, 27 years old. Big man against Paul Carter. Paul Carter, 39, 6 feet 4, 29 stone, man bear, formerly known as Cuddles. <laughs> well, they've got seven to beat, really, which was uh, Glenn Ross's first attempt. And remember, once again, they must keep in contact with that log. It's a tough thing. It, the problem is that when it rolls, you have to roll it away from the body because of the very nature of its design. So it's not easy. It's not just about lifting something close to the body. The sheer shape of this piece of equipment makes it difficult. And that is a clear lockout. They've got to lock the arms out. It's 3-1 at the moment. Well, Jonathan Kelly struggling a lot. He's 3-1 down. That's better. A lockout on the right from Paul Carter. So it's 4-2. Look at the clock. Is 90 seconds again, just to remind you of that. So that'll be, they'll be conscious of that and they'll take their rests. But remember, once again, they must stay in contact with the log. It weighs around 22 stone. It's worth repeating that because it's very close to some of the body weights we're seeing here. Got a lockout. No, no, no. No, no. So for 60 seconds, you can hear the time being uh, called out for them. Now then. This is uh, Jonathan Kelly, needs to lock out, he can't lock out, he can't lock out, and I think that's going to be it. Is he going to try again? He's still got some time, he's got about 15 seconds. Just wait to the end. That's what he'll do, wait to the end. He's got nine seconds left, he's got to take it now, but he's not going to have any time left. He's got to lock it out in four seconds, it's not going to happen, is it? It's not going to happen. It's 4-2, and that one to Paul Carter. Very, very good uh, performance, but uh, found it tough. Well, next up now, Ken Nowitzki. This is uh, a man we've seen before in this competition, Rob Frampton. He knows this competition well. He's 36 now. Look at the weight, 160 kilograms body weight. They're lifting, what, 140 kilograms. Now then, Ken Nowitzki. Glasgow, he's 22. Just under six feet. Competed in this uh, competition two years ago, incidentally. Been training, what, for seven years? And on the right, Rob Frampton, of course, well known to all the strong men. Been training for six years. Had a real problem in the past. He got himself shot as one of his, in one of his uh, uh, capacities of security. He's a gym owner. He's taken a long time to recover from that. And, uh, but he's really, Rob Frampton, look at this, six. One more to equal uh, Glenn Ross's total. He's got it up there, seven. 45 seconds gone. You can hear Jeff Gates in the background there say 45 seconds gone, but look at this. Poor Ken Nowitzki is having real problems. Only got one press up there at seven to one. Well, that's an astonishing uh, total, really. He really does need to do better than this. Not locked out, not locked out. Oh, it's eight, it is eight. Yes, it is, and that's the best so far. Yes, indeed. Well done, Rob Frampton. That uh, takes the lead, certainly. Well, now we've got another double act here with Owen Lewis. Lewis on the left of your shot there. Another 28-year-old. Not as tall as the rest. He's only 5'9". The bridge end in Wales versus Steve Cherry. Cherry is uh, the Scottish champion from Kilcaldy. 26, he's an education facilities officer, incidentally. Two already for um, Cherry, three for Cherry. It's going very, very well indeed. And Owen Lewis is really struggling with this one. This is a tough one indeed, and that's got to be locked out. Yes, he's locked it out. Five, well done. Well, Steve Cherry certainly leading this one at 5-0, and uh, really, Owen Lewis will be so disappointed if he can't get one of these uh, in the air. 
And now having to take the little break, let the old muscles recover a little bit. It's an anaerobic ex uh, experience, this. They do need a bit of oxygen into the body, though, to get the thing started. They must keep one hand in contact all the time. Getting encouragement from the crowd, but uh, certainly now then. Can Owen Lewis get one that he can't get one? I don't think he can get that in the air. No, he's finished. Nil scored. And that's a bad one. And uh, he knows it. Now then, Steve Cherry, can you get this to six? One more push. Big push. He's locked out. I think he's loose. He has. And that's a very good performance. Can he go for seven? No, he can't. Six it is for Steve Cherry. Good performance. Rob, event one's over. You won it with that eight repetitions. Has that given you confidence to, to go into the, the second event, the Silver Dollar deadlift? Yeah, I mean, getting the first event out of the way is always the toughest one, mentally as well as physically. You know, we've all come in, not cold. We've had a little warm-up, but there's nothing quite like uh, sort of oiling the gears and getting ready for that first event. And so glad it's over. I mean, I knew I'd do well. I'm even more pleased that I won it. Well, he certainly did do well, Rob Frampton, eight reps ahead of Glenn Ross at seven, and Steve Cherry with six, right the way down to Owen Lewis with no reps at all. He'll have to work hard to catch up now. Well, what's coming up? I'll tell you the next activity. It's called the Silver Dollar Deadlift for maximum. 325 kilograms to start with, 60 seconds the limit.